Yeah, we're back with the second segment of the Harry Thomas Show Week in Review. Today is Saturday, February 9th, 2008. The website is harrythomas.info. I'm your host, Harry Thomas. I've got this out, which was very interesting to come across. Some of this news uh, this week was McCain's presidential ambitions are set to be swift boated. Remnants of the Swift Boat Veterans for Truth group that contributed to torpedoing John Kerry's presidential ambitions in 2004, well, they're set to derail on John McCain's hopes of becoming the Republican nominee by forcing the GOP to jettison the senator and insinuating a revolution within the party to return to its conservative roots. And uh, Sampley also runs the Vietnam Veterans Against John McCain organization, and they're exposing the fact that John McCain's status as a war hero and claim that he was tortured in Vietnam is a complete fabrication. Now you go, whistleblowers. This is what they were talking about on the Power Hour. Thank you. Anyway, uh, let me move on to the top cop that says McCain was never tortured. The reason I want to cover this story, and many other like it, is because lots of people are standing tall when it comes to John McCain. Hell hath no fury like a veteran scorned. And I will tell you now, there are a lot of Vietnam veterans who deserve a lot of credit for what they did. And, of course, John McCain is the one who gets the majority of the credit for something that they say he did not do. Former Vietnam veteran with top secret clearance says he has personally spoken to numerous POWs who dispute John McCain's claim that he refused to provide information after he was captured and tortured in Hanoi, saying that, in fact, McCain's code name was Songbird because of his willingness to tell all to avoid torture. Oh, man. Jack Jack McLam served nine years in secret operations in Cambodia and other nations before going on to become one of the most highly decorated police officers in Phoenix history, winning police officer of the year twice before taking a role as hostage negotiator for the FBI. I know a lot of Vietnam veterans and a few POWs and all the POWs that I've talked to over the years say that John McCain is a lying skunk. He never was tortured. They were there in the camp with him, and then when he came in, he immediately started spilling his guts about everything because he didn't want to get tortured, said McClam, contradicting the official story that McCain only offered his name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. The Vietnamese communist served him the song, called him the Songbird, and that's his code name, Songbird McCain, because he just came into the camp singing and telling everything they wanted to know. Now, McLam said that the POWs told him that McCain had sustained two broken arms and a leg injury from not pulling his arms in when he bailed out of his A-4 Skyhawk that was shot down over the Trubach Lake in Hanoi. The POWs said that McCain made 32 propaganda videos for the communist North Vietnamese. I repeat, the POWs said that McCain made 32 propaganda videos for the communist North Vietnamese in which he denounced America for what they were doing in Vietnam. On uh, Jack McLam, he is the founder of police and military against the New World Order. Uh, He was an FBI agent and stuff like that. He was on the Alex Jones show, and they were talking about, is McCain the Manchurian candidate? Uh, I know a lot of Vietnam veterans, brother, and a few POWs. And uh, all the POWs that I've talked to over the years say that John McCain is a lion skunk. You know, that he, he... never was tortured. They were there in the camp with him, and when he came in with his two broken arms because he failed to pull his arms in when he bailed out of his plane and had a leg injury, he immediately starts spilling his guts about everything because uh, he didn't want to get tortured. And he made 32, 32 different uh, videos for the communists uh, uh, speaking out against America and how evil they were for what they were doing in Vietnam. And they have these sealed now. Our government has that sealed to where we can't get to it. They have it classified, those 32 propaganda tapes that he made. And uh, so uh, I'll tell you, what's not said on the television 
and will not be said on the television is how much the POWs hate John McCain and, and Vietnam veterans. As a matter of fact, there's uh, U.S. Uh, United States Veterans uh, uh, Dispatch uh, is an organization of Vietnam veterans that uh, just detest John McCain for being a traitor to the country. And uh, then we have uh, other organizations, too, that uh, uh, one here, let's see, it's called Vietnam Veterans Against McCain that uh, talk about him being a Manchurian candidate and uh, how he uh, he was the worst one in the House and the Senate uh, to to trample on, trample on, and to disparage and to ridicule any POW families that came forward to the Congress and Senate and wanted them to send in and, and find the POWs that were missing, the MIAs. Now, Pat Buchanan says John McCain will make Cheney look like Gandhi. And uh, John McCain is getting signaled support from President Bush. So if you like the Bush policies, you'll love McCain's. And McCain is just a complete madman. And add to that question the fact that there is only one true conservative slash constitutionalist who made it to the Republican primaries, and that's Congressman Ron Paul. And virtually the entire media and political establishment pummeled Congressman Paul to the point that his limited success in the race can be characterized as nothing short of miraculous. I mean, really, the establishment had done nothing but push McCain and manipulate the numbers and and, and put out an all-out attack on Ron Paul. Ron Paul said that McCain is friends with uh, Feingold and uh, Kennedy, and uh, this exposes the left-right fraud. You know, uh, Senator Russ Feingold on com- uh, campaign finance report for him, he's siding with him, and now he's a friend of Ted Kennedy on immigration, Paul said. These guys are two sides of the same coin. The U.S. Constitution states no person except a natural-born citizen or citizen of the United States shall become president. And remember, they were trying to amend the Constitution to push for Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that got shut down by the grassroots. And uh, John McCain was born August 29, 1936, in Panama. But, uh, you know, his parents were U.S. citizens. I don't think a big deal is going to be made of this. And uh, there was actually a misunderstanding that that zone was a U.S. territory when, in fact, uh, the U.S. had lease rights but not territorial rights. So I don't think that's going to go anywhere, but it's very interesting. McCain's aide, though, is a dual citizen of Mexico, and uh, he was actually served in the uh, Mexican government, the Washington Times reported. And, uh, see, McCain is involved in the CFR, okay, and they're trying to merge the Mexico, Canada, and the United States into a uh, North American Union. So I could see where that fits in. You know, and exposing him as a fake conservative. Conservatives know he's fake because they booed McCain on his immigration and they cheers warnings to Iran with no earmarks pledge. People are lulled into this left-right paradigm stuff. They'll support anything. And he sa- uh, John McCain says the U.S. and the European allies will adopt unilateral sanctions against Iran. Now, a sanction is an act of war. And, and these sanctions kill innocent people. I mean, McCain is a warmonger, and he's not fit to be commander-in-chief. And uh, we need to stop these madmen and, 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 and wake up to the fact that the media is, is using spin and stuff and showing us these fake boxing matches for these people who are allegiant to the same corporate masters and corporatism and these warmongers, you know, people like Rockefellers that are pushing for uh, world government. They just create all this stuff to scare you into supporting it. And they put on these staged boxing matches with the establishment-run media And uh, I think it's just the biggest disgrace that has ever been perpetrated against uh, the people of the world. Now, I will be back in the next segment. We're going to talk about Ron Paul, some of the good news that's coming out of his campaign. He's not giving up without a fight, folks. (laughs) 